Okay, welcome to Logbook of the World, Part 3. I'm going to show you how to upload your log. So you're going to go in and pull up your TQSL icon. Click on Sign an Existing Log for Later. So we're going to go in there, grab an ADIF file, and we're going to click on your home QTH, which we've already set up in another episode. Click OK. Make sure it's OK. You can leave those dates blank. Put in your password, and then click OK. Now it's uploading the log. Now that's showing that I have duplicates because I was testing it out showing you how to do that, but you're normally not going to get that. Now for those of you who don't have a logging software, I'm going to show you how to create one from scratch. So you're going to go ahead and click that Create Log option there, and it's going to bring up a box for you, and you're going to enter the call sign that you worked, and you're going to go ahead and put in the date you worked them, and the time in UTC which is pretty self-explanatory. And you get a drop-down box for the modes. You need to select the mode and then a drop-down box for the band and for the RX band. And then go ahead and put in your frequency. If they work split, you know, you got to put in the two different frequencies. And then hit Add a Cue, so if you want to add another one. Now it's going to leave a lot of that same information there so you don't have to retype it all in again if you worked a bunch of people on 20 meters a lot of that will stay there and you just have to maybe change the time so that makes it real convenient just keep adding a QSO and when you get to the last QSO you don't have to hit add QSO you just need to hit OK and it will store that last QSO so hit OK and now we're going to save that ADIF file and it's ready to be certified. So let's go in and certify that ADIF file now. Click the file, hit OK, and click the home QTH, OK, yep that's correct. Skip the dates, put in your password. Believe me, after you do this about 10 times it's going to be so easy. It's, it seems difficult at first but it just gets really easy and that one is certified and ready to be uploaded to LOTW. So let's go ahead and click on that LOTW icon and we're going to go ahead and lo it'll log bring us up to LOTW. Now I'm logging in as my daughter's call sign and these are not real QSO so I'm just going to show you how to upload. Hit the upload file and you're going to go and select the file that we just made. They see the TQ8 file right there. Hit OK and then you would hit that upload button which I'm not going to do because it's not a real QSO. But I'm going to log in right now as me so you can see I have a very active LOTW account so I can kind of show you around and um, you can see what LOTW um, can offer you once you start using them on a regular basis. They, they track your awards for you which is really cool and there's a lot of cool awards on here uh, that a lot of people go after. Obviously the first one is DXCC. That's a biggie. That's uh, going after as many countries as you can um, and it'll track that for you. Once they get confirmed it'll automatically update that for you. You don't have to worry about that. There's also WAS or Worked All States and WPX is a new one they've recently added. Um, and that's prefixes. So like NV9 would be one, NV8 would be another, and W9 would be another one, and W8 would be another. So let's go into WAS. There's my WAS. As you can see I need some states on some bands and modes. Uh, but uh, that's where you can track on, and you can click on any of those blue uh, modes or bands and it'll give you even more detail. So here's WPX. Um, and that's a that's a biggie. Um, and then let's go back and uh, we'll show you how to look at your DXCC award, which is the big one. Now, if we look at DXCC, they also have what's called the challenge. Now, once people get their 340 countries, and so they have them all, they may want to go after the challenge, which may be to get 3,000 countries worked on uh, multiple bands or to uh, go after their five band DXCC or things like that and this is a good place to track that. Um, you can go and look and say do I need Spratly on 20 meters and you can find out right here that no you don't have it confirmed. Uh, also you can sort this either alphabetically by the name of the DXCC country or entity or you can sort it by the DXCC country code. 
So uh, it's a very handy tool uh, if you're really hot and heavy into DXing and getting a lot of countries worked on a lot of different bands. Uh, this is really uh, a cool tool to use. Now another cool thing, if you go back out to the home page, you can see here on this main page is the Centennial Cuso Party. If you click there, and then go see up at the top there, you want to log in way up at the top, up there. And you can track how many points you've earned in your Centennial Cuso Party. You can also, right here, put in your call sign, and it's going to show you how many points you're worth to anybody else that works you. Or you can put in anybody's call sign and see how many points they're worth. Now here you can also click on there and it's going to show all the leaderboards for the Centennial Cuso Party, which is coming to an end December 31st. Now you can also go in and find your own details for all the Cusos you've worked. So I'm going to go ahead and click a couple things here. I'm going to see uh, there's all, uh, there's my total points worked. And now if I want more detail too, it'll show me every CUSO I worked that gave me points in the CUSO party and the dates and the times that I worked them so I can keep track of that. So that's pretty cool right there too. And that does it for my three-part series on LOTW. So hopefully everybody's going to get all set up on LOTW and everybody can have fun out there DXing and contesting.